Hi guys, uh, my name is Christian Attard and I play the bass, as you can see. This is, uh, I'm here to talk about the Nexus Studio Live today and uh, take you through some of the features. Basically, um, we'll start from this side and go work, work our way through. This is the gain control and uh, it has a push-pull comp compression in it and uh, basically uh, that compressor kicks in as you pull out this button. It has uh, different settings for EQ. It, has, it goes through flat. It has a uh, low mid uh, dip. It has a uh, mid range scooped mid and a mid range boost. For my bass, I prefer, I actually like this one the best. I've been uh, playing around on it for a few days now and I really like this, this setting. Uh, it has your EQ, bass mid, treb, sweepable mids, which is awesome. Um, and that takes us through to this. It has a, a push-pull mute switch that's controlled by the uh, foot switch, which is really awesome if you want to tune and then you need to, you know, mute it or you just want to have a just direct mute. And then uh, basically, the tilt, the tilt function is something I really, really like. Um, it's basically, the idea is um, either uh, decreasing low end, if you go th uh, this way, and adding, um, decreasing top end and boosting lows if you go the other way, which is what I really like. Because you can get this really kind of subby uh, tone where there's no, you can't really hear the the presence of the fingers, which is really cool for like playing subby sort of reggae stuff. Which is a tone I try and get a lot by decreasing the uh, the tone control on my bass, or with my fingers, or trying to like. You know, mute and stuff like that. That's, that's a really cool feature. I think I'll be using that a lot. So, the other way, you're actually um, decreasing low end, which is which gives you a real sort of toppy. Sound like that. That takes us to the touch control, which is uh, over here. And this um, is how much of the uh, preamp tube that we are going to be driving. So. You know, you can, you can wind that in. There's also a, a push-pull which um, a function which tightens up. Gives you sort of like a more tighter sort of sound, which I'm not sure if you'll hear over this mic, but... And then, take that out. It's a bit more, like, a bit more of a tighter sound. Which is really cool. So it takes us to the uh, effects section of the uh, of the amplifier, and basically, there's this button here is called space. This is really cool. It has reverb this side. So and you can have anywhere. You can go like turn it all the way up, and any variation in in the middle. So just have a little bit or wind it in a lot. So it has a really cool sort of... Ah, sorry, I must start with saying that you can control it from here, which is really cool. That's a regular pedal. And that, that's on the space foot switch. And uh, so that's on now. So I've turned it all the way up. And this is how it sounds. So it's more like. So then on the other side of the space control, we have chorus, which is really awesome. And uh, this chorus works really well. It's a really nice chorus. Um, 
I probably I normally bring when I play gigs octave pedal chorus I don't normally bring reverb but that's a really nice thing to have but this will definitely eliminate eliminate me bringing a chorus pedal which is really cool because <laughs> So that's really cool and, and again you can wind it in a lot you can wind it in a little bit so any variation in between you can sort of bring it down a bit like just have it on a little bit which is quite a nice tone as well okay and then so that's the space control and that's obviously switchable uh, from the foot switch as well. So I'm going to turn that off. Oh, if, if, it go, if you go back to the center, it turns it off as well. So I'm going to talk now about interval, which is also um, controlled from the foot switch as well. So I'm going to turn that on. This side of interval is uh, octave. And this octave is really awesome. It, it tracks really well. Uh, a lot of the octave, octave pedals I have um, Sort of miss trigger down, the, down on the low end, but this one, as you can see, as you can hear, is really good. Even on the low strings, it uh, picks up and tracks really well. Okay, and once again, you can wind it in a little bit, a lot. So you can have it on just a, just a Okay, and then on the other side of that, we have a uh, fifth above, which is um, sounds a little bit like this. And that's uh, this focus um, over here. That's basically sweeps through. Um, allows you to sort of um, have it affect certain frequencies when you're using either the octave or the fifth. So if you go this way, I believe it's more, you can hear more the lower frequencies. And then this side brings out more the tops. Um, i told to turn down a little bit. And, uh, and basically, yeah, that's, that's the front panel of the amplifier. And once again, all that, even the uh, EQ shape uh, is foot switchable. So if you want to you know, leave it sort of flat and, you, and turn that shape off, and then if there's a certain part of the song you want a different EQ setting, you can, you can just click on shape and it'll obviously uh, bring that into play. So that's the front side of it. Let's have, should we have a look at the back? All right, let's do that. Okay, so we're here to talk about the back of the amp now. So um, obviously that's the remote cable for the foot switch. Um, there's a tuner out, which is really awesome because you can um, have that running the whole time. You've got your mute switch on the front, so you won't need to use the, the tuner mute. Um, has an effects loop, and let's see there's pad on that, minus 10 dB bypass as well. Um, auxiliary, which has a level control, which is really cool. Uh, had, has headphones. This is a really cool amp if you want to use it in your hotel room and do some work on the road if you're touring. The thing is so light. That's another thing um, that's really cool about it. It weighs five kilos and um, it's super light. You can, and it comes with a travel bag and the foot switch, which you can just put in your travel bag or whatever and um, take it into hotel rooms if you're doing fly gigs where you don't have your rig, you can always take this thing with you, so it's really awesome. Um, 
So as far as the headphones, that's you know, there's the headphone out. It's got a it's got its own level there, which is really cool. Um, USB control, which you can plug into your computer, and it comes up in your uh, software as as an instrument through USB, which is really awesome for doing recordings in this, when you're on the road or even in your studio or whatever you need to do. So um, and you can be recording in the in this in your hotel room or wherever you are and then reamp it later. So you go out of here, back into the amp and you can mic it up or do whatever you need to do later on for uh, recording purposes. So that's that. The, um, this is the DI section, which is really awesome. It has a, uh, a level control of a DI. A lot of the amps I've used in the past don't have that and you have sound guys saying, can you give me a bit less or it's, it's a bit hot, can you turn it down? So that's really awesome. Um, and then with the DI you can have pre, post, and then uh, output, which I believe is everything. So that's, that's basically pre would be just a straight DI before the amp stage. That's post. I believe it's uh, that's uh, the preamp in there going th going through the pre, and then that's everything. So there we have it. And then there's a little ground lift there as well, just in case you have some issues with the uh, ground. And that's the uh, Nexus SL Studio Live amplifier. There you go.